Kia ora nakao tātou e te iti tangata kuki airani, ko te tai tuatau te anō to tātou nūti, te kakawe ia mai te CITC e tu watu. Name suppression orders have been lifted on the three men who now face going to trial on a number of charges relating to fraud and theft. Charles Amaru Koronui, Christopher Earl Vale and Norman George. Koronui will face three charges relating to conspiracy to defraud a person, namely the Atu Island Council. Christopher Earl Vale will face five offences, obtaining a 10% commission payment in relation to a purchase of a crusher plant on behalf of the Atu Island Council, obtaining another 10% commission payment in relation to the same type of purchase on behalf of the Mangaia Island Council. He also faces three counts of conspiracy to defraud the Aitutaki, Atu and Mangaia Island Councils. But of all these, Norman George, elected member to Parliament for Atu, will stand to face the most heat, totalling 12 charges. George allegedly, with Chris Vale, accepted two commission payments, both in relation to purchases of a crusher plant from Keith Ernest Niederer of Palmbeck Industries Limited, on behalf of the Atu Island Council. He's also accused of accepting with Junior Areai two gifts of $2,000, rewards relating to the purchases from Palmek on behalf of the Mangaia and Atu Island Councils. Another $2,000 gift was also allegedly accepted by George along with Areai from Victor Kapo of Material Management and Supplies Limited on behalf of Aitutaki Island Council. Further two charges of conspiracy to defraud the Atu Island Council, another charge to defraud the Aitutaki Island Council and the Mangaia Island Council also. George will also answer for two charges of theft of amounts $8,000 and $7,340 committed in 2002. It took roughly an hour and a half to get through the agenda set out by Chief Justice David Williams, parameters by which the trials will be run. George announced that Paul Davidson, QC for New Zealand, would be his counsel. He will also represent Koronui. Following court, George made this statement. I wish to make a public statement about my... Uh, current situation. I am facing a number of charges alleging that I conspired uh, together with others to obtain financial benefits from various government contracts as well as charges of obtaining and receiving secret commissions in relation to government transactions. I reject these allegations and charges in their entirety. I am confident that when the full facts surrounding these matters are placed uh, before the court, I will be found innocent of any wrongdoing. Uh, the police investigation has been woefully inadequate and the charges against me are ill-conceived. The charges are nevertheless serious and they will be defended in an appropriately serious and thorough manner. In that respect, I have given instructions for Mr. Paul Davison, Queen's Council, based in Auckland, to act on my behalf and also on behalf of Mr. Charles Coronary. Whilst I would be ashamed if the allegations were true, they are not. And I am absolutely confident that I will be ultimately cleared of any wrongdoing. In the meantime, I will continue to practice law as usual and will continue to serve my constituency and in my role as an opposition MP I will continue to oppose the government of the day. I ask that people wait for the true facts of this matter to emerge as I am confident that the case at the trial will reveal the full truth and that people not form any opinions or conclusions before the real merit of these charges is examined and they are determined in court. Thank you. The trial involves up to 100 witnesses who span three outer islands and New Zealand. The trials will be by judge alone and not by jury trial as elected by the defendants. Council is currently looking to engage the services of a Crown Prosecutor from New Zealand who is currently attending an extradition hearing in Uwanda. The proposal of a six-month secondment to Crown law here is still in its infancy at the funding level. It is something not yet set in stone, but she has shown her availability in July. What promises to be a very interesting case that has spanned over nearly a decade, it will also be a very public one. The duration is expected to take up to four weeks. Trial date at this stage has been set for the 25th of August, later this year. This is Carly Himmelpour for tonight's CITC and Wattle Local News.